those up. Joe Roberts, onewindude.com. And I had to do a video today because the video is kind of the only real way to give you a sense of what I'm talking about. There will be a wine involved, as you can see. Uh, Manzanita Creek, Old Vines Inn, Alfonso Old Vines Inn from 2007. And it's 15.6% alcohol. Whoa! But anyway, that's not uh, the primary reason I'm doing the video. The primary reason I'm doing the video is this a new type of closure that some of you may have encountered. I've encountered it on a few wines. Uh, I'm starting to see it on some samples. It's called the Zurich. Zurich, which sounds like a a toy from Toy Story 3 or something. Uh, so it's made by this company that uh, also does plastics. If I can get a focus on that thing there. Zork, whoa. And um, a few wineries are starting to use this thing. And I'm here to tell you that we'll see in a minute about how it works in terms of what's in the bottle, but in terms of outside the bottle, um, I'm sorry, man, but that thing, look at that. It makes the bottle look like a a marital aid or something. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to plug it in someplace. Um, I actually find these a little difficult to open. Uh, and I'm kind of a old school um, waiter's friend, corkscrew guy, and I, I really dig that. Um, I, I love screw caps, too. Not a big deal. Um, but as you can see... What you do is you grab this thing, you pull a tab, and it kind of goes round and round. There you go. And you just kind of unfurl it like you're opening um, vitamins or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, then you pull the top off. And this is the part that I actually find excruciating. I actually don't find it that comfortable to grip. And then it pops out, just like that little piece of plastic. Now the bottle no longer looks like a marital aid. See, it looks like a real bottle of wine. Oh. Uh, now I feel bad uh, for Manzanita. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, guys. There's your Russian rivers in. I'll do. Uh, I'll least. I'll least pour it and, and take a sip and, and review this because I feel bad talking about. Um, comparing this thing to uh, a dual purpose massager. Okay. Woo! Tell you what, that's a big boy. That's a that's a little bit of a boozy zin. Well, there's nothing shy about this wine. Uh, it is pretty big. It's rather chewy in your mouth, too. Um, it's bigger than I like, I can tell you that. That's personal preference, though. That's a personal preference. You know, there is some spice going on. Real, real dark fruit. Um, it's about 36 bucks, <clears throat> and personally, I'm not sure I'd pay that much for this wine. And I'm really waiting for some of that Zin pepperiness to come out, and it's it's just not there. It's like some leather, but I'll tell you what, for 36 bucks. Uh, sorry guys, I don't just know. Just a little too unbalanced for me for that price. Also got their 2008 Three Vines in Pindell from Sonoma County. Back in the Zark! Zark! So, I'm gonna give this a whirl. Not the Marilyn Reed. Roger. Just kidding, this is actually that hard. Hmm. A little noisy. Let's give this one a whirl. No, 
now getting wine all over my desk. Wow, that's a lot more like it. Um, I am digging this wine. I'm digging it a lot more than I am the old runs in. It's really dark and dense. Um, a little oaky, but there's a lot of spice and leather on this one. I mean, it's big. It's probably too big. But if you like that style and you kind of have to expect Zinn to be a little big from California, I mean, that's just the bottom line. If you like that style, I think you're going to dig so this So I'm not wine. blown away by this. Manzanita Creek, uh, 08, Three Vines Infidel, Sonoma County, just to recap. Not blown away, but it's a pretty solid wine, 28 bucks. It's definitely, definitely in the B range for me. Um, but I'm not going to go right, right home about it. But if you like a big Zin, this one has some complexity, some balance. I actually like it better uh, than the Alfonso, which is about 10 bucks more expensive. Sorry, guys. But I would definitely dig on this, with, uh, especially with some, some ribs. Ribs with the rub. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. The one where your family has that recipe and they're not going to tell anybody else about that recipe. And you, you might die before you know the recipe that your relatives use on their rub. This is the wine, one of the types of wines I, I really want to enjoy with that kind of, that kind of cooking. This would be, I, I think I like it a lot more in that barbecue scenario. So there you have it. A fairly strange closure. Seems to work, but doesn't look all that great. And I almost hit myself in the face with that. Okay. Well, till next time, folks, keep it real. Ciao.